Seeking Happiness, by, Newness of Life Ministries www.trcb.me slash Noel. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you thinks that he is wise in this age, let him become foolish that he may become wise. 1 Corinthians 3-18 Karl Barth, a famous theologian, once wrote that all human sin finds its roots in three basic human problems. A. The sin of pride. B. The sin of dishonesty. Your article could be in this broadcast. Visit trcb.com to find out how. C. The sin of slothfulness laziness. These sins are compounded when they are done without regard to or respect for God. In the second edition of the New Bible Dictionary P1117, sin is defined as The most characteristic feature of sin in all its aspects is that it is directed against God. Many people view happiness as getting the next material thing, or doing something in the next hour or so that pleases them. Success, happiness and prosperity are much more than that. Happiness comes when you are able to get rid of your pride and the idea that your thoughts are worth something important. Happiness comes when you are able to stop lying to yourself. And happiness comes when you quit doing things you're lazy, inept, half-hearted way and seek doing things as God would have you do them. When we are able to set aside our pride, our dishonesty especially self-deception and our tendency to do just enough, then we are ready for God to use us to accomplish His will. Proverbs 3, teaches us today? Proverbs 3, 7-87, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. 8. It will be healing to your body, and refreshment to your bones. Psalm 12, 6 8 theme, protection against propaganda 6. The words of the Lord are pure words. As silver tried in a furnace on the earth, refined seven times. 7. Thou, O Lord, wilt keep them. Thou wilt preserve him from this generation forever. 8. The wicked strut about on every side, when vileness is exalted among the sons of men. Today's question. How do you find truth? In Bible times, to refine silver until it was considered pure silver, it would be fired it in a kiln seven separate times. With each successive time in the kiln, less and less dross impurities would rise up to the surface, and these impurities would be scraped off and then the silver would be fired again. After the seventh firing, no more impurities would rise to the surface and the silver was then considered pure silver. Psalms 12-6 is using the refinement process of silver to give us an example about the perfection of the words of the Lord, because His words are totally pure and may therefore be completely trusted. Placing the words of the Lord in our hearts and minds will also help us dispel the negatives that we are bombarded with, and purify our souls from within with truth by Larry James. Trust in the Lord with all you heart and lay not unto your own understanding. Happiness is truly reducing the impact of pride, dishonesty and laziness in our lives and seeking to do things God's way. Try it. You will be happy you did. And if you fail, try it again. And when you seek happiness in this way, you will not only bring physical happiness to your body, but mental happiness to your mind and the spiritual happiness to your spirit. For by rejecting pride you would have accomplished what Satan did not, for it was pride that caused his fall. How you have fallen from heaven, O star of the morning, son of the dawn! You have been cut down to the earth, you who have weakened the nations. Isaiah 14-12 Dear God, help us to focus on you rather than on our own thoughts, help us to set aside the pride of life and humble ourselves. Help us to refine ourselves and come forth as pure. And in this process show us joy and bring us true happiness. Amen. The Newness of Life Daily Bible Message is designed for those who like to take a short respite from the day's responsibilities to enjoy the contemplation of God's Word. This daily message is based primarily upon the belief that to read some of Proverbs and some of Psalm every day will provide us with great spiritual growth and development when done consistently with discipline. Philip Saxton and contribute to Newness of Life Ministries NOL Philip Saxton, www.newnessoflife.com. Philip can be reached at saxtonatemetown.com. 
music by kevin macleod